Hey guys, I'm back. It's a little late in the day. I hope the lighting is good, but it, it has been a day. Here we are back at El Stumpacabra. Um, I just, I'm excited to do this review because I, I really want to check out this knife. So I was contacted by a company, you can see here, QSP. I love the slogan, better knife, better life. We can all get behind that. They asked me if I'd like to take a look at some of their products um, and do the video thing. And, you know, I said, yeah, obviously. So here it is, right? It's been a long day, guys. So um, they told me to pick two from their lineup, and they've got a lot that looking at the specs, looking at the pictures, I wanted to try and narrowed it down. Um, I have looked in the box only so I knew which one I was going to look at, and then I realized there's a label. So <laughs> we're looking at the Phoenix. Um, I'm excited to take a look at this, though, because when I was looking at the specs and I was looking at the picture online, I was really excited to take a look at this and get my hands on it and try it out. QSP is a new brand to me. If you guys have first-hand experience with it, please do comment. Let me know what you think, how it's gone for you. But um, I am not going to do any shout-outs or anything today. We're going to jump right on into this because I don't know how long we're going to have nice, good light out here. So you know how I'm always talking about packaging, right? Some people don't understand why. To me, and I've said this before, but if a company takes the time to, and this is a generalization, it's not a 100% rule, but if they take the time to package a product nicely, to me, it speaks to the fact that they're proud of what's inside of it. And uh, usually you don't spend a lot of money on packaging a cheap product. You know, if, if, you're, if you're running a company and you're interested in just pumping out the most numbers for the cheapest possible cost, you don't spend money putting it in a nice package. You put it in a cheap, little, thin, unmarked cardboard box and you ship it the hell out of your factory. So that's kind of why when I talk about packaging, sometimes I, I comment, yeah, packaging looks good, it's nice packaging. And these packages, they're common in some of the, you know, offshore knife brands, and these are a Chinese brand. Um, but, you know, the, the nice box with the magnetic lids and stuff, so nice packaging. Uh, this is exactly how it came, so I got two of these boxes, you know, in a bigger package. But decent packaging. It's got kind of a felt-lined foam cut out for the knife. So, you know, again, starting off, we're just, to me, taking a little pride of what's inside this box. We've got a little QSP thing. Um, there you go. Okay. Now the Phoenix. I really like the blade shape and style when I first saw this. So we're working with um, liner lock, OD green scales, G10. Not my favorite style of sculpting on there. I like G10 to have kind of a, a vertical type pattern to help with the grip, you know, if it's, if it's wet or, you know, you're wearing gloves or something. But nicely done fit and finish looks really really good see so you're working with a deep carry clip which seems to get damn near all the knife in your pocket and it's tip up left or right but no soup for you if you like tip down carry okay nice designing on the pivot a little artistic there but uh, looks like you can actually get a, a regular driver in there to get it out fit and finish looks just about perfect. I mean, you can run your finger along there and feel no ridge whatsoever. Everything matches up perfectly. Looking at that. Uh, G10 backspacer. Nice texturing on it. Screws all countersunk evenly, exactly the same level. Obviously, flipper. You can see the steel mark over there, D2. You can see we've got a pretty long blade there, though. Slim design, uh, looks very modern, you know. And you can see just the hint of a two-tone blade sticking out from that scale. Um, so I guess, you know, let's take a look. Ooh, that's, that's nice and smooth. That is a nice, quiet, it's on bearings. Two-tone blade, reverse tanto shape, you know how much I love that. nice long blade so EDC I don't know if this is it's a relatively um, thin blade as compared to some other hard use knives like the Benchmade 810 which I compare just about everything to because I've taken on deployments and stuff um, 
decent sized liner lock though, you know, compared to the width of the blade. It's about 50% the width of the blade. Feels like it kind of needs to break in a little bit, get those bearings rolling really nicely. But yeah, see, and it's already starting to do that for us. The more I flip it open, um, by the way, centering, perfect. The more I flip it open, the cleaner, the smoother, the snappier it gets. It actually has a real, kind of the lines of it, real clean look there. You know, almost sword-like. Um, Comfort-wise, you got a little bit of jimping up where, I, you know, I'll call it the thumb ramp because that's where your thumb goes. Um, but very, very little bit. I would like, I'm a fan of, of fairly aggressive jimping, so you really get a good hold on it. Your thumb can just slide right on there if you're relying on that for any kind of grip. The flipper gives you a little bit of a guard, but not much. But it is a comfortable handle. It's got all those simple clean lines. Um, it's just basically holding on to almost a straight handle. Um, so again, grip-wise, I've held on to better, but it's very, very comfortable. You can get your finger right up against the flipper there as a guard, get your thumb dug into that jimping, and I feel like you've got a pretty good control over the knife itself. And um, balance-wise, a little back-end heavy if you're just holding right there, but two fingers and you've got perfect balance on it. Weight and balance-wise, pretty good, actually. Not a lot of um, junky markings on the blade. Just have your steel mark on one side, and you've got your QSP brand mark on the other. Not at all uncomfortable to get to that lock to close it. Like I said before, a few slow openings initially, but once you get those bearings rolling, um, who knows how long they were just kind of sitting there in the box, but very smooth, very clean action. Um, I'm light switching it. You can push button it as well, very easy. So whatever your preference, you know, for using a flipper. Um, love the nice, big, fine edge belly. No serrations, just lots of cutting surface. And you know, it's it's got a style to it too. So I think that you could carry this around and I'll, I'll polish up the blade surface a little bit. I'm already kind of, it's got some, looks like maybe just marks from being handled at the factory or something, whatever. And I'm putting some more fingerprints on it, but you know, again, it, I keep using the word clean looking, um, and it is very simple and clean looking. I think this looks good, you know, carry around is, uh, it's probably, about, I got to look it up, I'm thinking about a four inch, somewhere between three and three quarters, four inch blade. So EDC wise, I mean, it's light enough. And I think that in your pocket would be slim enough that you can carry it as your EDC. It looks good. It doesn't look like a, a you know, quote unquote, scary tactical knife. It's got a classy kind of look to it. Um, but at the same time, it, it does have kind of a tough look with the blade shape, um, with the size and everything. And if you've got big hands, plenty to hold on to there. So let's take a look at how that blade actually performs. We'll start with the lock test. We usually do that a little later on, but I don't count or keep track of how many times I do it. I just do it. You see the markings there on Mr. Stump. See that the lock has not really traveled at all. Centering has not moved one little bit. It still flips just as clean, locks up solid. No blade play at all. Very nice. Uh, that feels nice. It just, you can feel that nice sort of slice, like I want to cut stuff up. Tiny bit of effort, not much at all. Pull right through there. And for the slice, I, you barely even look where I position the, the cord and then notice when it's cut, you barely even inch down the blade. I mean, it's chopping right through all this stuff, chopping it into dust, basically. And again, our lock doesn't move, doesn't travel. Nice blade, I really like it. And it being D2, it's gonna hold that edge for you nicely. Uh, yeah, 
We're talking a little bit of edge maintenance with carbon steel, but as long as you give it a good wipe down now and then, or if you do something rugged with it, give it a good wipe down, keep it dry, it, I mean, good to go. The advantage is you don't have to sharpen it as often, but that's, you know, it's entirely up to you how you feel about carbon versus stainless. I like the QSP. Um, when, like I said, when I was looking at specs online, it looked it looked quality made. It's you know another one of those the modern Chinese companies. They're coming from behind, um, and what used to be only crap comes out of China is it's it's they're changing the paradigm. A lot of companies these days. Um, I still don't know if I'd put something like this up against you know a, a full up high end Spiderco bench made um, like you know a Curtis Mid Tech a Hinderer, but these are really well-made knives. Um, these guys, Best Tech, we obviously, Kaiser. Uh, just to name a, a couple off the top of my head, you know. Um, there's a lot of really good companies these days producing a lot of quality products coming out of China. So, um, I like this one. I will do my usual carry it around. Oh, that, that felt good. Let's do that again. Yeah, I'll do my usual carry it around for a little bit. Um, see how it behaves, see how it performs, let you guys know if there's anything new, cool developments, stuff I think you should know about. But for just, you know, the initial unboxing, the mini review, feels pretty solid. Um, plus, I love the OD green and black combination. I like two-tone finishes on blades, um, and I love that blade shape. So, I might do a little bit, just a tiny bit of honing on the edge, just a little, little bit. Obviously it performed really well. I feel like we can get just that little bit more performance out of it, but nice knife, really nice knife. I think it's well made. Um, oh, yeah, you can see skeletonization in the liners. I forgot to look for that. I don't know if you can see it on camera there, but yeah. So what are your thoughts on the QSP Phoenix? Something you guys would like to carry? Something you guys would like to see in the giveaway maybe? Um, I'm gonna put a link to QSP's website just so you can check out some of the other products they have. I have one more to show you guys. I think it's called the Shark. Not entirely sure, but we'll see that in, you know, the coming week or so. And uh, you guys can see what you think about that. I believe that's a 440C blade. I wanted to compare one of their carbons and one of their stainless. Same plugs I always make. Um, if you guys have a Q&A question, I'd love to put out another Q&A video. I'm being asked when another one's going to come out. It's when you guys ask me enough questions for me to do it. So, questions for docp at gmail.com. You can send me any Q&A question you have. I will answer anything you've got and we'll get one of those together. If you guys have a request, something you'd like to see, something you want to see me review, test, um, a video that you want to see on this channel, you can um, look in the video description at the link to my Facebook page or send me an email at docp96 at gmail.com. And as always, there's a link to the uh, Patreon page. Really appreciate everybody who is already a team member. Those guys help especially the viewer request videos when I have to buy stuff for that, it's because of the Patreon team and their support that makes that stuff happen. Um, also, some of the subscription boxes I get every month. Um, so, like I've been reminding people, with the giveaway coming up, we're almost at 50000 Last giveaway was a lot of fun, and I think it did pay off for uh, some of those Patreon guys to have those extra giveaway entries in their pockets. So think about joining up for all the other benefits and that. I'll be looking at the comments, see what you guys think of this. And in the meantime, you guys are all absolutely awesome. I appreciate every single one of you. And I will be back, and Stumpy will be back, real soon.